Oops. All right. This is Malva viscous arboreus variety drummondii, the Turk's cap. Well, another one of those fun names. Uh, whenever the uh, foliage is just out, unfortunately there's no flower, because if the flower were out, it would be one that you would not forget. It's a, it's a flower that is, uh, it almost looks like a rosebud. It's all, it's, it's tightened up. It's not, and it doesn't ever completely splay out. And then the, just like, uh, you guys noticed the name Malva viscous. It's, it's related to the hibiscus, and so the reproductive structure, just like the hibiscus flowers, sticks out of that uh, rosebud-like uh, flower, and it so it always looks like a, they call it a Turk's cap because I guess there was, uh, was uh, I can't remember, it looks like some a hat that one of those Turks would wear or whatever the case is, all right? But, uh, that flower is one that's unique enough that if you ever saw it, you would not uh, not forget it. So if you would, look that up if you're interested, okay? But as far as the foliage is concerned, it's relatively uh, unique, I suppose. It does have a little bit, somewhat of a hibiscus-like look to it, but it is uh, not nearly as... Well, I suppose it's got a it's got a little bit more of a softer uh, touch to it than the, the other hibiscus typically. All right, so you've got a little bit of a pubescence on it, and then on the back side you see these veins that are uh, almost got like a spider web appearance to them. Okay, and then also you'll see you'll notice that uh, they'll get up to be anywhere from three to eight foot tall, depending upon the uh, the particular cultivar that you have. There are some giant cultivars that get up to like eight foot tall. This one t typically gets to maybe four to five. This is about average, okay? And then you'll also notice that these sort of terminals uh, will come out, and that's sort of uh, a little bit different than hibiscus as well. Most of the time, hibiscus that we see will grow like as one, one shrub or one bush and sort of do more of a, of a singular uh, plant look, whereas Malva viscous spreads out and gives it this uh, sort of a bedding plant look in that it can actually make a, a nice uh, display of, of foliage as it sort of spreads out, okay? Do the leaves always come off and like hang flat down like that? Uh, yeah, they, they always sort of have a little bit of that, that uh, appearance to them where they're coming out, the petioles come out at almost uh, a 90 degree angle and then the leaves hang uh, 90 degrees to that. Yeah, that's a good that's a good uh, point. Okay, you'll see there are varying sizes of leaves in here, but that's simply because they're uh, you know, some of these up here are more juvenile than the other ones. But there, that's a typical size of a leaf is about yay big around. Okay, there are reds and there is a pink cultivar on this one as well. Did you say something about new foliage <laughs> foliage or just ju juvenile? Oh, okay. Yeah, see, it's even, and of course the. The juvenile foliage is even more pubescent than the rest of it. Okay? I noticed there's like little tiny whiskers. Yeah. The, the on the one? On the Where the, the leaves hit the, the stem? There's yeah. Like petiole leaves. Or... Ex, yeah, extra pubescent there. Almost kind of fuzzy. Well, no, I'm talking about the They look like spurs at the base of the... Oh, like stipules. The nose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point too. But it, and that is also a good, a good uh, point here that the pubescence gets a little thicker. I saw one back here that was really nice. Anyway, the pubescence gets a little bit thicker as it gets closer to the uh, to the point at which the uh, the bud is. Okay. Did you have a word for it last time when it has a ton of the Uh, I might have. I'm probably made it up. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> So...